let's talk about how to add a chart to your power view. So here I have a power view based on some data. And if I go look at the data quickly, um, you'll see that I have date, location I was fishing, uh, number of fish caught, number of species, uh, how many were released, whether or not I used the boat, and the month. Now, what I've done here is I've extracted the month from this date uh, by using the function month, and I add that to my data set. And that's going to be going to become useful when I use it in, in the chart. Uh, if you needed more information about the month function, uh, you can go check out the video uh, that I've linked up in the information section where I show you how to use that function and what it does. Okay, so as an example, I'd like to add a chart. So here I am, I'm going to click in a blank portion of my power view. And then over under my power view fields, I'm going to choose the fields I want for this chart. And so I'm going to add in um, the number of, let's do fish caught. Good enough, we'll start with that. So I need to now, instead of this being a table, I want it to be a chart. So with it selected, you can go to the design tab up on the ribbon, and then you can choose the type of chart you want. You can do bar chart, column chart, or other. In this case, I'm going to do a column chart. I'm gonna do a clustered column. So it does it, I'm gonna expand it, and I have a pretty black luster chart. It's basically one big block indicating the total number of fish caught. Well, and that's where these other fields come into play. So along the axis, I would like to add the month. Now, if I just did date, I wanna show you this. Okay, so it does do a certain level of grouping and that is directly related to the layout tab. On the layout tab, there's a button here called type. And if I said categories, it actually does each individual date that I'd have over in my data list over here. Each individual date would be charted. Um, if I said continuous, it will kind of group it automatically uh, based on the size of the chart and kind of flow through it. So you can see it's got a small bar and then going by every other month here. So I didn't want that. I want every month shown. So what I did was over in the data, I created that uh, column that extracted just the month and then I'm gonna use that instead. So here's month, I'm gonna put that in the axis and I'm gonna remove date. So now I get a representation of the month. I'm gonna go ahead and change the type to categories so I get every month that I have indicated over in my data. And then we could add any other information we want. So let's say out of the number of the fish that we caught, I'd like to know uh, how many were released. So I'm gonna add that down to values. And you can see it adds it to the chart. With that comes things like a legend. If I wanted to get rid of the legend, this is all done on the layout tab. You have legend options here. I could say none, we could say however many we'd want there. And then you can also do um, your vertical multipliers. So again, this is just like the map. So if I did, we'll do a horizontal so it fits a little better. But let's say I want these charts broken down to when I used a boat and when I didn't use a boat. There it goes, breaks it down. This is the no, this is the yes for when I use the boat. So these horizontal multipliers are very similar to what we talked about in that map video. I'll post a link to that in the top as well. If we want to remove anything, we simply drag it out and it, away it goes. So those are the basics on a chart. Now you can change the chart at any time. So if I wanted to change this chart, I could go other chart. Let's say in this case, I'd like a line chart. There it goes, draws my line for me across the months. We could do a pie chart. That's under other as well. I could do a pie. Uh, this time, let's say I'm gonna take a month out of the equation and I just want a pie chart indicating the number of fish caught compared to the number of fish released. There you go. If we wanted to add the legend back in, there's layout, legend, choose where you want it to go. Very similar to other charts that you would have had in Excel. Uh, but we can add them to power views and we can add unlimited numbers of charts here. We can add all sorts and based on any data that you have from your data set.